All right, y'all, quick video here. You're gonna be doing a uh, video. Can't even do a review. I literally just installed it. Um, sorry for some background noise. My neighbor's working on something. But uh, this is a TJ Brutal, I believe. TJ Brutal Custom. Um, sissy Bar gas tank or jerry can mount. And I got it on my Lowrider S. I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. I'm getting ready for the uh, run to Terra Lingua and then gonna go from there north the plan is to ride to uh, Durango and then tag along for the FXR tour but this is the uh, the setup right here That's how it looks I love it a um, couple things on it I did have to do a few things that are a little different um, it's got some rubber right here you can see that it's just right there, rubber there and there. And it's also got it on the other side here and here. Well, it's supposed to not like mar your bar because it's got the rubber right there, but I had to put mine up so high. My bar kind of starts going to a point uh, fairly quickly. And uh, I had to mount it higher than I kind of wanted to. So it's not really on the rubber. I was thinking about putting like a bike inner tube around that or something or some kind of plastic or something to Something to line this with it wouldn't be hard to do to keep it protected, but I really don't care that much about the sissy bar. I mean, it's meant to be ridden. It's gonna have a few little scuffs. So if it messes it up a little bit right there, I'm not really uh, gonna be too upset about that. But anyways, now there's plenty of ways to, uh, to attach a gas can to your Harley Davidson, but I just wanted this way because it seems super clean and uh, really simple. Um, they've already went through the, the hard work of figuring out how to hard work they went through the R&D of developing this to make sure you know it's a cool system it's not too expensive especially when you consider like this has got its price and then they, they're getting this from the same place I'm pretty sure I'm 99% sure they're getting their cans from the same place um, as, as Amazon because they're actually they look like the same exact cans so these come in three colors right now black red and uh, green uh, oddly enough, the uh, red one was the cheapest. It's like $100 on sale. The green one was like, this one was $100. This one was um, $150. And the black one's like $200 or something like that. Um, and to be honest with you guys, look, they say the exact same thing on there. This one I got from the uh, motorcycle company. This one's from Amazon. And these both are the point... Uh, seven five or three liters capacity and the one i'm actually going to run is this other one i got on amazon it's got the same little logo on there same exact everything it's just a little bit bigger this one's a 1.3 gallon or five liter um i haven't put the lock in or anything i was just kind of mounting it up preliminary uh preliminary i don't know does that even make sense anyways i'm just mounting it up right now to see how everything's going to work um again there's Totally other ways I could have saved money. I didn't need to buy this, but I just kind of wanted it for ease of use and kind of how cool and clean um, that it looked. But I just didn't feel that um, three liters was big enough. I was like, shoot, I'm gonna carry gas. I might as well carry some gas. So I went ahead and got the uh, the the one gallon, the one that's a little bit bigger. Uh, bought that separately so again i bought this option because it was the cheapest on the website and then i bought this one separately i believe i'm going to be able to, i'm going to return this one to amazon um and i bought this one this is the one i'm going to run i prefer red so that way i'm visible and i can be seen um black would have been cool but and it's an option i'll put some links down in the description to uh, amazon where you can get that sucker like pretty much overnighted um but black was an option but i've already got so much black on the bike kind of thought it would help be helpful to be help me be seen a little bit better having that uh, that red there so i like that one whenever you buy it this is not the one you're going to receive they don't sell it with one that size so you're going to get one of the smaller ones but i believe it's i don't want to say the price i can't remember off the top of my head but it's not very much i went ahead and just got it off amazon there's a little bit extra money but i think that the uh this piece is worth it worth it enough than for the price they're asking they're not asking a whole lot of money um but i'll just have this one on standby i guess um if i ever want to use it and i do have this sissy bar here for a reason um i'm not a huge fan of um 
this sissy bar or kind of this setup because what's going to happen is it's not really going to i'm going to this trip i'm not going to be doing two up so i'm just going to have this on there only for this trip but it's not going to make a super nice backrest um the best modification I, I would think of is having like a little plate right there um like drag specialties makes a, a sissy bar pad and then figuring out a way i think they make a plate where you can fabricate or attach this piece to that plate um so you have a backrest for a passenger and you have the clip that attaches to this and you don't have this bar blocking your passenger right there but again i'm not going to be running it with the passenger one of the thing i was kind of thinking of is kind of along the same idea is having like a little plate that comes off of this like the back of this is a detachable i prefer to run that one so i could take it on and off but it would be ideal if i had it like it was like a plate that didn't wrap around the front necessarily just attached on the back to these existing and i'm sure it can be made fairly easily or you know somebody could weld one in or, or just fab it up behind this or something like that but make a plate to where you can attach this and i'll show you guys how it attaches it's pretty tight it doesn't sound super good but i guess that's how it works do this one-handed see if i can get it okay And that's the system. So basically it's just uh, four bolts right there and it pinches these U-bolts. Uh, pinches those U-bolts right there and uh, on this bar and kind of secures it. So I'm sure there's a way to make, there's a plate I'm sure that goes onto like an existing sissy bar or just drill, drill some holes on a sissy bar pad or whatever so that it can, it can be mounted there with a the pad. But that'd be my only like, next upgrade but as far as this trip is going i'm not going to have a passenger for the part that i'm going to be needing gas to carry gas um i'm not sure how frequent the gas stations are out there in uh near terralingual but it definitely seems like a spot where you want to have some gas on you like where it wouldn't hurt so i know a lot of dudes will be out there on choppers and things like that so maybe if not for myself i can help somebody else out you know so and that's pretty much all i wanted to show you guys i'll put them all next to each other so you can see it's really not that much, uh, line them up, square them up here. It's really not that much more of a uh, nuisance when it comes to size, but it does hold a full two liters more. And I've had other solutions before. I'm not sure this is gonna be my end all be all, but I've had other like little bottles and things like that. But pouring out of those bottles just doesn't, it's not super easy. I was spilling it everywhere and stuff and it was only one liter, so. This one has actually got like a regular gas can type nozzle right here. And it just pours out the regular way. It doesn't have any weird uh, safety devices or you know anything like that. It's just a regular old gas can. So let me clean that up a little bit. But yeah, that's basically what I wanted to show you guys. So hopefully I can do some more filming about the... Uh, the trip i'm about to take but uh that's why i want to show you guys for now thank you guys for watching make sure to check out the channel for more videos subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one thanks